Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ino. So in today's video, I'll be providing uh, an overview of uh, file ownership and permissions in Linux. So right here, I have um, a terminal open ready in uh, an Ubuntu machine. And uh, in order for me to demonstrate the concept, um, I've already run a command here, ls-l just to list the directories and files in this um, directory. So Linux is a multi-user operating system, which means that multiple users can access it uh, simultaneously. And so in order for the system to provide protection for files and directories, the concept of ownership and uh, permissions is used. So for instance, if we look at uh, this list here, you'll see that there are, there are directories and are files. So you can determine if it's a directory, if it, the row starts with a D, and if it's a, a dash, it's a file. And then as far as uh, permissions go, you'll see that there's, um, there's three uh, types of owners that are associated uh, with a, a given directory or a file, which is the user, and then we have a group, and then we have all the others. So for instance, here we have a file named the file two and file three. The permissions for the user are gonna be the first, uh, these three characters here. For the group, this, the next three characters, and then for others, gonna be the next three characters. The permissions are broken down into three categories, you have read, write, and execute. So R is for read, W is for write, X is for execute. They can be um, configured for just the user separately, the group separately, and others separately. In order for, uh, for one to make changes within, let's say if they are the permissions that are provided at the moment, are not sufficient. For instance, normally when you have a, an, an application, you might not have the execute. Like for instance here, if you don't have the execute command, you won't be able to um, to run that, that that application. You'll need to add that permission. So Linux provides uh, a command for modifying the permissions, for adding and for removing as well. And the, the name of the command is ch mode so it's like for change uh, mode but before we uh, before we go ahead and make the change uh, we, we change one of the permissions for let's say file 3 uh, we'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk briefly about the two options that are available to us so we have the option of using um, absolute so there is an, uh, an absolute mode and, uh, and then there is a symbolic mode. So the absolute mode uses like numbers zero to seven and then the symbolic mode just uses like um, operators. That, that's gonna be best by uh, be shown by demonstration. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on with, was how this read, write and execute affects a directory. So when it comes to a file, the read is just like it says. It allows you to read a file. And then for for a directory, the read permissions allows one to list its content. And then the write permissions allow you to modify a file. And when it comes to a directory, the write permissions, it allows you to rename uh, to to add a, file, a directory or to remove, uh, to even remove a file from inside the directory. So if you don't have the uh, right permissions, you can add a, a file or remove a file from a directory. Okay, now we'll, we'll go to the example of uh, modifying the permissions here. Like I said, there's, we have two options, which is the absolute mode, and then we have the symbolic symbolic mode. So I'll, I'll use an example here. We'll, right now we only have, for the file file three, we only have read, write. If we needed to add execute command, I mean, if you needed to add 
the execute permissions what you can do is you can use ch mode and then you have to put in a number so like i said there's a number zero to seven so zero is no permissions and then one is execute and then two is write three is execute and the write four is for read five is read plus execute uh, six is read uh, and write seven gives all the three permissions which is uh, read write and execute so since we are looking to get all the three permissions we use seven and then we'll leave the um, for the group we can just leave it with the um, read write which will be six and then for the uh, others we can just leave it as just read which will be four then you have to specify the file name say file three and now if we run the command you can see this one now as the execute option added so that's if you're using the absolute mode the other way to modify would be to use the symbolic mode now with the symbolic the syntax for the symbolic mode doesn't use the number zero to seven it uses a uh, operators so you can use like a addition um, subtraction and the equal sign and then to specify which um, owner you're, you're modifying you'll use either the character u for user g for group and then you can use o for other so a quick example we'll go ahead and uh, modify the permissions for the file three again we'll go ahead and remove the execute permissions we added and that to do that we can use again the command change um, C, uh, ch mode and then we'll say since we're talking about the user we'll, we'll use a minus sign and then we are we are removing the execute permissions and then the file is file three again as you can see we have removed the execute permissions and another way you can do it is you can use the equal sign uh, ch mode and then we can say they say we want to give the group the read write and execute permissions uh, three and then if we do as you can see here we give the read write and execute permissions to the group Now, another command I wanted to talk about was uh, a command that allows us to change the ownership of a file uh, or a directory. So in cases where you're looking to change ownership of a file, you can use a command, it's a ch on that provides that capability. So for instance, if you're looking to modify, to change the ownership of file three to the root, we can use that command but this command is going to require uh, the root uh, permissions uh, so we'll use sudo and then command is ch on and then the name of the new user then the file name now if we check file three you can see here that the uh, the user has changed to root so those are the few commands i wanted to cover in this video um, i hope this information has been useful i'll see you again in my next video thanks bye